after watching this video this makes one thing certain that you are a crypto enthusiast and for that i want to congratulate you for being an early adopter in this video we will learn about the basics of blockchain where we will learn that how blockchain works importance of blockchain features of blockchain types of blockchain and difference between bitcoin and blockchain worry not we will not deep dive into all these topics in this single video this video is going to be a short introduction that what is blockchain so hello and welcome everyone you are watching help with penny aur mera naam hai shreyas pandey thanks for joining in and see you on the other side let's start with the introduction what is blockchain blockchain is a database that means it is used to store data and as the name implies the data that is stored on the blockchain network is stored in chunks called as blocks so if you are a crypto enthusiast then you might have heard this term blockchain for quite a number of times as we all know that blockchain technology is the revolutionary technology that is behind cryptocurrencies so it is very important for us to understand that what kind of database is blockchain blockchain is a distributed database that is shared among all the operating nodes meaning every individual on the blockchain network can have a full copy of the whole blockchain this increases transparency and it is also one of the major key feature of the blockchain we will discuss about this feature later in this video but for now you might be thinking that what is the difference between a traditional database and a blockchain database so one major key difference between a typical database and a blockchain database is how the data is structured inside these databases in traditional database the data is stored in tables whereas in blockchain it is stored inside blocks these blocks inside blockchain network have certain spaces the data is stored in these spaces inside blocks and when the space inside a block gets filled the blocks gets closed and gets attached to the previous block on the incoming blockchain hence it forms a blockchain network i hope this makes clear that how blockchains are formed and how data is stored i will not deep dive into these concepts inside this single video as this might confuse you because these concepts are really technical now let's talk about the features that are being offered by the blockchain number 1 blockchains are immutable that means the data that is once stored on the blockchain network can't be edited or deleted number 2 blockchains are highly secured and also resistant to hacks as they use cryptographical algorithms to store the data number 3 Blockchains are cleverly designed and equipped with consensus mechanisms that helps the network to make decisions real quick. In simple terms, consensus mechanism is a decision making process for the group of nodes that are active on the network. Consensus mechanism helps the nodes to come on an agreement real quickly. Number 4, blockchains are decentralized. That means there is no governing authority or a single person looking after all the framework blockchains are governed by all the participating nodes number 5 blockchain provides the proof of ownership of the data to the users so we learned about some of the major features of the blockchain that are blockchains are immutable secured decentralized provides proof of ownership and can be used at a number of places blockchains can be implemented in multiple sectors such as finance healthcare supply chain social media as well as in educational institutions so if you have watched this video till here do give a like to this video and subscribe to my channel also press the bell icon and activate all notifications your one like motivates me a lot to keep creating good content now let's move towards the last part of this video Now coming to the types of blockchain blockchains are of two types first public blockchain public blockchains are those blockchain where anyone can create a full node and can become a network validator on public blockchains there is no requirement 
to ask for permission from anyone that means any node can join or leave the network any time without asking for permission from anyone second private blockchains private blockchains are those kind of blockchains where only authorized individuals can run a full node and can become a network validator these two types of blockchain networks are used for different purposes at different sectors as we mentioned earlier that blockchains can be implemented in a lot of sectors such as finance healthcare supply chain social media and many more sectors till now in this video i have covered almost every basic topic that is related to blockchain i will not be diving deep into all these concepts in this video but i will be creating more tutorials where i will be covering all these topics in real detail but now i am going to demystify one of the major myths of this blockchain and web3 ecosystem that is is bitcoin and blockchain are the same thing so bitcoin is one of the first widely adopted cryptocurrency that leverages blockchain technology this means bitcoin is a crypto or you can say bitcoin is one of the major widely adopted use case that leverages blockchain technology so the answer is no bitcoin and blockchain are not the same thing bitcoin is a product that uses and leverages the blockchain technology bitcoin runs on its own blockchain and there are a lot of other blockchains out there so i will not be covering this concept in this video because it is really technical and it requires its own video so i will be creating more tutorials where i will be covering different topics related to blockchain crypto web3 metaverse defi and everything related to whole metafi concept so before we end this video i want to recommend you my favorite crypto trading app so guys i use coin dcx app for buying and selling cryptocurrencies it is india's largest crypto trading app that is trusted by over 1 crore plus indians it has over 100 plus crypto pairs listed and the deposit and withdrawals are really smooth you can buy crypto on coin dcx app with inr usdt btc and more it also provides services such as lending and staking so don't forget to check out the coin dcx app the link is in my description so with this i end this video and i hope to see you in the next video till then keep learning keep educating